Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Welcome to the roundup for the week ending on Saturday, May 19th. This is the show where I take a look back, take a look forward, and blah blah blah. The game on your screen is Super Monday Night Combat, thanks to the Nitro Mountain for sort of reigniting the fire in my loins for this game. I was a big fan of Monday Night Combat, beta tested Super Monday Night Combat, but then haven't really touched it for a few months, so Nitro and I were going to team up and play a little bit of a game, unfortunately. That never happened, but fortunately, it meant that I installed the updated version of the game. So, when I sat down to play games this weekend, Super Monday Night Combat was one of the first things that I played. Played a little Combat Girl, did some support. Really, really enjoyed that. So, uh, I'm liking it a lot better than a standard standard Dota uh, game, a MOBA. Uh, so, you know, because it does have that interactivity of being third person. As much as I enjoyed this game, really, it made me look forward to Smite, which is, uh, if you guys don't know, it's the next game from High res the makers of Tribes, and Smite is going to be a third-person MOBA, but it's supposed to have more in common with League of Legends and Dota and uh, Heroes of New Earth than Super Monday Night Combat is. So where Super Monday Night Combat skews itself towards third-person action, uh, Smite uh, steers itself towards third-person Dota. So... Uh, I'm really interested to see that. I do enjoy Super Monday Night Combat. I'm going to continue to play it a little bit. I don't know how uh, deep into it I'll get. Uh, I have to say, with the different heroes that i played, I've enjoyed Combat Girl the most. So when she goes off rotation, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do unless the Engineer comes on rotation, which would be a very similar character. So I'm kind of I'm, I'm in an interesting place right now where I'm sort of... I'm finding that I, I really like one particular play style in this game. And most of the time in a game like this, if you like one particular hero or pro or whatever, that's a time to buy that person so that you can play them when they're not on rotation. But at the same time, I really don't feel like buying anything. I really don't feel like putting any money into this game. But uh, I can say that I will probably only play this game when I know that there is a good support character on the rotation. And when I say good support character, I mean one that plays like the Engineer and like Combat Girl. So we'll see what happens. We'll go forward. I don't know a whole lot about the game. Uh, I've only played maybe five or six games of it total, including my beta experience. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on it. Keep it installed for a few weeks, play it a few times, and uh, we'll see where it goes. So now let's talk about the week that was. We played Costume Quest this week. I really enjoyed this game, and if you watched that video, you definitely know that. But what I possibly enjoyed more was the conversation that I had in the comments with Saban. I really, really dug that. It was fun to have an interactive conversation back and forth, and, uh, you know, to come to this conclusion where we both basically said, well, hey, you know, as a result of who we are and how we grew up gaming, uh, we like different things. And that's cool, because it's really cool for people to like different things. Believe it or not, it is really, really cool in this world for me to like something that you don't like, and you to like something that I don't like, because that's what makes the world go round. If everybody liked the same thing, it would be a really boring, vanilla world. So it's really cool that, uh, you know, as he said, he likes uh, games that focus on intricate story, and I like games that focus on intricate game mechanics. And that's a wonderful place to be. And occasionally those two things will collide and when they do you have a wonderful title that everyone can enjoy uh, but that's not to say I don't like story of course I love story but as I was saying in the uh, in the comments that uh, I, I would take a really solid technical game over a really solid story game for instance I would take uh, Super Meat Boy or Binding of Isaac over something like uh, well, it's a, well a game that went on sale recently uh, Knights of the Old Republic you know, I would take Binding of Isaac over Knights of the Old Republic if someone said, this is the only game you can play for the rest of your life. Hands down, I would take the game that, that had fun, enjoyable, repeatable mechanics. Not the game that was going to tell me a great story. Because a great story is something that gets told to you once. Of course, in the case of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, you can make some different choices on a second playthrough that can dramatically alter kind of the arc of the game, but at the same time, that's still a finite number of possibilities. There are only so many stories that you can unearth by, by the choices that you make, whereas with a game like Binding of Isaac, it's different every time. The mechanics are super solid and enjoyable, and uh, I could see myself putting 400 hours into that game, whereas I would probably put one playthrough into a really good RPG. Right. 
So let's move on. I don't want this video to get too out of hand. Let's talk about next week. I can give you one video for certain next week, and that's going to be for Climb to the Top of the Castle. It's an interesting platformer that I picked up earlier this year, and it is now available for free. So I want you guys to be aware of it. Now, I'm definitely going to try for two videos, but Climb to the Top of the Castle is uh, is sort of whipped at this point. It, it is uh, in progress, so uh, that's definitely coming out. Other than that, I think I want to aim for something simple, uh, not too complex. I find that recently I've been putting too much work into some of these videos, and it's pushing my whole production schedule off, and it's really interfering with my ability to get good stuff out to you guys. For instance, the Ludum Dare 23 video. That game took a lot of research, and it cost me a lot of time, and, and it really took a good long while to finish that video up. And I do appreciate that that video uh, hit and got you know some outsiders to come in and view it, and it was a wonderful experience uh, connecting with those developers. But at the same time, it was a pain in the ass to make that video. So uh, it's not something that I want to continue to strive for, those sort of complex videos. I need to get back to the simple, original idea of this channel, which was uh, first impression videos and mix in other stuff. Free to Play Friday is going to start, believe it or not. Uh, I know I am the king of saying things will happen that never happen, uh, but, but I've said before, part of the reason that I say them is that once they are out there and vocalized, they're no longer ideas in my head, there is then some sort of an outside pressure, like for instance Matt Yee reminding me that Retro Roulette is still a thing that people expect to see eventually, so I gotta do that. Note to self, do that. So. Uh, again, yeah, I want to simplify things, but I also want to continue to bring interesting and original combat. Free to play Fridays, it is going to happen. I have uh, one episode recorded, and I said I wanted to have four uh, recorded before I started posting. That's not going to happen. That's unrealistic. I think at this point, if I can do uh, one in hand, if I can stay ahead a week, then uh, I think that that will work out. So during the week this week, I will try to record another episode and then I will use the one that I have on my hard drive, and I will constantly try to stay one video ahead. That way, if there's ever a week where I cannot, for whatever reason, make a video, I always have that one to fall back on. So, that will happen this coming Friday, so watch out for that. Streaming is going to happen. Having some weird computer issues lately, and I just didn't play with want to play with streaming because it pushes my computer a little bit hard. And I was trying to figure out if there was anything going on with the computer, or if these were just weird isolated incidents. I think they're weird isolated incidents, so I'm going to play around with streaming again. I'm pretty close to being happy with my stream quality, uh, so, you know, it's it's not going to be great so, so long as I'm on this laptop. It is a decent gaming laptop, but it's two years old at this point, and uh, it doesn't have the advantages that a two-year-old desktop would have because it's a laptop, because it has a mobile processor, because it has a mobile video card, and all those things. So look for that to happen. It will happen. Uh, keep your eyes open. Follow me. Uh, I'm going to stream some Rift, um, and I'm going to stream a lot of other games. So if you're not a fan of Rift, you probably won't encounter it that often, but I will stream it on occasion. Number one, because no one's streaming Rift on Twitch, but also because... I'm basically going to stream whatever I'm playing, and sometimes that's going to be Rift. So, yes, MMOs, we all love them, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, besides my colossal failures, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yes, um, there is a good sale going on, on Amazon. It's uh, 12 Days of Mayhem or some such thing, I don't know. It's, uh, oh wait, Mayhem, May, the month of May. I just got that, I just totally got that. Uh, <laughs> well played, Amazon. Uh, so uh, check that out. Check that out. They're doing a different daily deal every day, as as well as just a lot of games deeply discounted. So uh, so check that out. It's definitely worth putting your eyes on. Uh, Steam has some sort of a Ubisoft weekend going on. Whatever you know, Rayman Origins was on sale for fifty percent off. That was pretty awesome. Uh, but apart from that, eh, you know, keep your eyes on the same places that you always look if you are into cheap gaming. Gamers Gate is definitely a place to go. GOG is really coming up now that they've decided to abandon the good old games moniker and go with uh, just calling themselves GOG and bringing you all sorts of games. So, uh, you know, they are branching out now and you can find deals there on newer titles and as well as some exclusives like that Botanicula uh, pre-order exclusive that they had, which of course was shat upon uh, by 
by the deal that was made with Humble Bundle. You know, nothing that was not Humble Bundle's doing. Uh, but, you know, it was just an unfortunate thing that one of the first exclusive pre-orders that they got ended up getting uh, kind of screwed to the butthole by, uh, by the developer who wanted to uh, be more important uh, with, with a full exclusive Humble Bundle. So, sad face. But uh, big big shout out to GOG for doing a lot to actually remedy that. I believe they gave out uh, a couple of different games, including The Witcher 1 you know, to people who had done that, done that pre-order to sort of make up for the fact that they technically paid more than they could have gotten the game for in part of the as a part of the humble bundle. So, yes, wonderful. All right, let's move on because I'm just sort of blabbing now at this point, and I really just want to end the video. So let's do that. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy. Hot shots win that one. They gotta feel good about it. That's my line, Chip.